Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. Welcome to video six in my holiday gift guide extravaganza. After today there will be two more videos, the fiction categories, the general fiction categories. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos and I hope you're finding some stuff for the people in your lives. Today we're going to be talking about translated fiction. I really feel like translated fiction got a lot of amazing um, press this year, especially with the National Book Award um, having a, nas um, a category for translated fiction this year. Um, and there was a lot of really good translated fiction in my life. So I'm really happy to be able to do a video that sort of focuses on that. And it's actually, it was funny because um, all the stacks have been really big. This pack is big, but it's very condensed. So let's get started. The first book I want to tell you about, uh, let me, uh, uh, out from Coach House Books is Little Beast by Julie Demers, translated by Rhonda Mullins. This is a retake on sort of, it's sort of like a fairy tale, I would say. This is about a little girl who starts growing a beard in a little town. Her father leaves because of the embarrassment and his mo her mother is trying to protect her. And it's about the community and how they come sort of after her when they feel like her condition is causing some um, bad luck. I'm going to use the word bad luck in the town. Um, Coach House is an amazing little publisher. They do great work. I know Simon from Savage Reads read this and really enjoyed it. And the cover is just fantastic. So this is Little Beast by Julie Demers, translated by Rhonda Mullins from the French. But I want to say this is actually set in Quebec. And this is uh, French Canadian. So there you go. Um, so yeah. I haven't read a lot of stuff in French Can from French Canada, have you? I haven't, but there you go. Translated fiction, there you go. The next book is um, Man by Kim Thuy, translated, I wanna say this is also from the French, um, translated from the French by Sheila Fisham. And I actually haven't read this one, but I'm super excited about it, so I'm putting it out there. Everyone, when I hauled this book, said that this book was really good. Um, the main character of this book is a young mother, um, she, uh, sorry, young woman who has three mothers. The woman who birthed her and gave her up, the woman who found her, and the nun who raised her. And then it's also about her going to a city. I want to say it may also be somewhere in Canada, Montreal. There you go. She goes to Montreal to marry a man where she becomes a chef. And it's about also um, her and that relationship being what it is and her meeting another person and that relationship making her who she is. Um, I have heard nothing but great things about it. And this cover is freaking beautiful. So this is um, Kim Tui Man translated from the French by Sheila Fishman, and this is out from Vintage Canada. I got this one at Green Apple Books on the Park. No, just Green Apple Books. Um, I'm sure they have it at Green Apple Books on the Park. Um, the next is actually a series of three books who may, who is turning into be, and the author is turning out to be, probably one of my favorite authors of all time. These are all out from the New York Review books, and these are the three novels in English by Magda Zabo, and I'm just going to do this for you. Um, I read The Door last year, absolutely loved it. The story of a woman um, who winds up becoming the maid for a writer. And they're very complex, very psychological, amazing, amazing story. Um, the second one I read was uh, Caitlin Street. Um, this is about a group of neighbors that are affected by World War II, I want to say. It's been a while since I read it. Um, but the creation of the relationships, the way the war affects them. And I loved this one because the war is there. It's definitely something, but it's not the focus. This is really more about the people and the relationships. There is a third book. This is the only one that I have not read, and that's Isa's Ballad. The reason I haven't read it is because I'm basically saving it for next year um, because I don't want to be done with um, Magda Zabo's um, uh, books. Now, the first one, Catalin um, Street, is translated by Len Ricks. Um, and I want to say, um, oh gosh, all three are translated by different people. The Door was translated by... Oh, I thought it has an introduction by Ali Smith. Actually, this one was also translated by Len Rex. This one was, Isa's Ballad was translated by George Sirtis? Sirtis? Can't say that name. But loved everything I've read by Magda Zabdel. Rub, love New York Review of Books. So I highly recommend more dense reading, definitely um, for those people who like to really dive into literature. It's, it's so good. 
so good. So I highly recommend. The next book is the first book by Emily Nothbaum that I have read, and it's Strike Your Heart. This came out this year from Europa Editions. This is translated from a lot of books translated from the French. Um, Alison Anderson. Um, this is the story of, I want to say her name is Diane. Diane, who is raised by a mother who is jealous of her and her relationship with her mother. How she uses that to become an independent, strong-willed woman of her own. But it's also about the relationships that she has with women as an adult and sort of seeing her mother and other people. Um, this book is psychological. It is a thin little just just a dagger of perfection. Um, highly recommend um, this book. And this is Amelia Nothbaum's Strike Your Heart out by, you know I love myself some Europa editions as they come up in the next book as well. And that is Disoriental by Nagar Devadi. This is translated from the French by Tina Cover. This was shortlisted for the National Book Award Translation Fiction Prize. This is um, translated from the French as well. Gosh, French, French, French. Um, but this is also the no story of a young uh, Iranian woman who is telling you sort of her family history as she waits to be in, um, go under an artificial insemination to have the baby that she and her partner have always wanted. Um, there's a lot about Iranian history in here. There's a lot also about insemination and artificial insemination in Paris. There's a lot about coming out to your family. There is definitely an LGBTQ plus theme in this. Um, Tina Cover's translation is just amazing. Um, and But it is a dense book. It's, again, definitely for those readers who just like to really get lost in a novel. And once again, this cover. Um, so that's Disoriental by Nagar Devadi. There you go. Last but not least from the Japanese, um, Lion Cross Point by Masa, Masasugo Ono, translated by Agnes Turvel. This is out from Two Lines Press. Yes, Two Lines Press. And once again, beautiful, beautiful cover. This is the story of a young boy who something tragic has happened to both his mother and his brother. And he moves to a small town to live with his grandmother. And and it's sort of a delve into who he is, the history of the town, the history of his family, and the community in which he lives. And it's a, sort of a coming of age story. Um, it is, again, beautifully rendered, beautifully translated. Um, this edition is, I mean, just imagine getting this book under the tree. Get, imagine getting all of these books under the tree. Imagine getting every book I've talked about in six videos so far. Um, so this is Lion Cross Point, translated from the Japanese. Um, written by Matsa Sugu Ono, translated by Agnes Turnville, out by Two Line Press. So there are a few, there you go, translated fiction titles for you, for those of you in your life that really like to read translated fiction. Highly recommend every book on this list. As always, thank you guys for coming along. Hope you're liking these videos. And again, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye!